Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing, and in today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can utilize WeBrand to create a template to then email out to your contacts within KW Command. Now, currently, as of November 27th, 2019, there are no email templates available without within KW Command, so you would have to manually create that. However, there are social posts that are available that are templates that you can create in WeBrand. So I'm going to show you a workaround and how you can access those templates, download it to your computer, and then send it out to your command database. So the first thing we'll want to do is create the design. Okay, so on the left hand side here, let's go ahead and click on the design section within KW Command. Okay, and of course, to get into KW Command, you would go to agent.kw.com. So agent.kw.com, feel free to pause the video if you need to log in. And then on the left hand side, we are selecting the design option. Now it like, looks like a little pad with a pencil on it. You can always click on this KW logo at the top left to view what all these menu options are right away. Just a heads up. So once we access the design section here, you'll notice you can click on any of the options at the top to see any templates that you had previously previously created, or you can click on the plus sign on the very bottom right to create a new piece right away. So if I go ahead and click the plus sign here, you are given three options here. So you can create an email piece, social, or print. So right now it does use WeBrand, so there are a bunch of templates for social and print as well from what I've seen. However, there are currently no email pieces, no email templates that are already in your account. Again, this is of, as of November 27th, so you can create an email template. It'll be a blank page that you can create, add photos to, and so forth, and we'll take a, a, another look at that in just a moment here. But for now, for this workaround, let's go ahead and click on the social option, as that will take you to all the templates. So we'll click on social and click create design. Right, it may uh, prompt you to log in again, okay? So if it prompt takes you to a login page, it typically does for my, my account as well. That'll just be your MyKW login there. Same for command, same for MyKW. And it'll take you on over to all of these different templates. Now on the left-hand side, you'll see a bunch of different options here that you can look through and see all the templates that are available. If you wanna do a just listed piece or a just sold piece, you have those options on the side there. So let's say I wanna do a holiday greeting. Okay, there are quite a few Thanksgiving ones. I'd imagine that they'll be adding some for Christmas and Hanukkah coming up as well. These look like a bunch of fall options right here currently. All right, so if I go ahead and let's say, click on use for this one. Okay, and just a heads up before we move for further, I just wanna show you at the top here, we do have different options depending on which social media you would like to post this on. Again, this is a workaround to send out in an email. So I'm going to stick with this one since it looks like a cute little postcard. So I'll go ahead and select use. And it will bring me on over to the editing platform so I can make changes to this template here. All right, so you'll see some editing options on the left-hand side. You can add text here. So again, on the left-hand side, it will show you any additional editing options that you have. So you can add in images here at the top, text, icon, logos, and even pull a listing from the KWLS. So just a quick overview on this. If you were to click on images, it might pull up your headshot right away. So I can click on that and line that up where I'd like it. Okay, so you can add additional images to this piece and resize that as needed. Okay, and of course you'd resize by hovering your mouse on the sides here. We can also add text on the side, so you can add your name, and you can always move that over here. And you can also at the top here adjust the font and so forth, okay? You'll have icons here on the left-hand side as well, logos, and this pulls from your command marketing profile. So you can add that in. Okay, however, whatever you'd like to add in, you absolutely can. 
If you decide this looks horrible, which it sure does, all right, you can go ahead and click on the trash icon on the top right here to get rid of any pieces that you add in that maybe don't jive with your piece. All right, and you can also add any listings that would be maybe for a just listed piece or a um, open house or so forth on the left hand side. Okay, so once you're done with customizing this, okay, you'll come up on the top right here to download it. Okay, so what our next step is, is we want to download this to our computer as an image, as a picture file, so that we can add it to an email to send out to our command database. So I'll go ahead and click on download on the very top right here to save that to your computer. Okay, so so far what we have done is I have shown you how to create any templates. You can use these templates to post on social media, to email out, okay, wherever you would like to put these pieces, they're going to be picture files. So you can absolutely use these for marketing. And it's a really great editing platform right now. So from here, what we'll do is we'll go back to KW Command. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to command, which is agent.kw.com. So we can go ahead and add this to an email piece. Now, before we get going further on email pieces, I just need to let you guys know that in order to email out of command, your MailChimp account will need to be set up and connected to command. So if you do not have a MailChimp account set up, okay, you can do that. Let me grab the bookmark for you guys. Okay, you can create a MailChimp account by simply going to MailChimp.com forward slash sign up. Okay, on the top of my screen here. So MailChimp.com forward slash sign up. You just have to put in this information that it prompts you for and it will create an account right away. We're also happy to uh, create that account for you if you'd like to email support at ScottLeroyMarketing.com. We can do that for you. Once you have created an account, it will send you a verification email. So you have to authorize your account and then you're able to hook that up to command. And we would do that by coming up to your name on the very top right, coming up to settings. That will take you over to your apps within command. So you can scroll down to find MailChimp, okay? It might be even lower on your screen if you don't have that currently connected. So you can hook up MailChimp to your account. So that is one step that's necessary. MailChimp has to be set up and connected to your command account in order to send out emails from command. The second thing that has to be done to send it out is you'll need to set up a pie sync between uh, MailChimp and KW Command. So right now your contacts from command do also have to be in MailChimp to send out an email within command. So it's very easy to do to set up a pie sync here. You can sync your MailChimp and command contacts to pull those over right away. Okay, and again, all this backend stuff, we are happy to help you with. So feel free to email support at scottlivorymarketing.com. Let us know you would like a MailChimp account set up and have it pie synced to command, and we can get that done for you no problem at all. Alrighty, now that we have done our homework for this to be able to email from command, let's go back on over to the design section on the left hand side of command. So I noticed that it is easier to create the email template before um, you actually going to send that out. So let's first go over to designs on the left hand side. All right. And you'll notice uh, some different options here. So you might see some templates pop up. If you had created that in the past, um, you can change which category at the very top here to see those templates in that specific category. But in this case, let's go ahead and click the plus sign on the very bottom right of command. And let's select the email option now and click create design. Now, since there are not currently any email templates available um, provided in your system, again, you have to manually create that, and that is as of November 27th, so I know they've talked about adding in some email templates, so that should be soon to come here, so this is a workaround in the meantime. So what we can do is on the right-hand side, you'll see a bunch of different editing options. So I really like the content section where it'll allow you to click, let's say, the image, click and hold your mouse, drag and drop that over to the blank page, release your mouse, and it will give you this lovely image placeholder. Okay, so we'll wanna double click on that image placeholder. Now pop up this box, which will allow you to drag and drop the files, or you can click to upload here. 
and you'll want to navigate on over to your downloads to grab that Thanksgiving template that we just created in WeBrand. So if I double click on that, it'll pull that in. So I can then click on it on the right hand side to add that in right away. All right, so this is obviously very large, all right? So we need to resize that, and you do that by clicking on the image. You'll notice when I click on it, I see these little squares pop up on all corners. So I can then click, <clears throat> click my mouse, and drag to resize that, okay? You can use the corners to resize it, or the bottom here, to get it the size that you would like it to be. All right, so from there, let's say maybe I wanna add some text in. So on the right hand side here, I'll go ahead and click. Let's try text section here. Click and drag and drop to release. So happy Thanksgiving, let's say we wanna write in. And here I hope you had a wonderful holiday with your family and your pants got too tight. Enjoy your day swimming in mashed potatoes. Because who doesn't like to swim in mashed potatoes, am I right? All right, so we have that entered in here. All right, you can even drag and drop further things up on the right-hand side. So let's say I'll add a divider. And now I'm going to add in some text. So as you can see, I am just clicking the right-hand side options and dragging it to my template here. So let's say I want to put in an, an email signature, basically. So I can put in my name, phone number, email address here. Okay, and maybe even my headshot if I don't have that already. All right. So now I am all done with that. So I will rename this Thanksgiving piece. Let's do email Thanksgiving piece. Click update template on the top right here. I have the screen confirmation all as well. So I can come on the top left to click the arrow to go back. All right, it's asking if I wanna save and yes. Okay, and there that is. So we went ahead and created that email Thanksgiving piece. So we're ready to email that out. So now we go through the email steps. So on the left hand side here, we we'll wanna select the campaigns option. Okay, the campaigns option is a little megaphone on the left hand side and we want to click create a new campaign on the top right. From there we'll go ahead and select email and we'll have to follow these steps. You do need to fill out all the fields that have an asterisk so campaign name let's say Thanksgiving Select an account, okay? You'll only see this if you have a MailChimp account hooked up. So this will only work if you have a MailChimp account hooked up. So if you're not seeing this option, make sure to set up a MailChimp account and connect that to command. In this to field, you'll then have an option to select a list. Now these lists right here pull from MailChimp. So if you don't have a list available, again, you will need to make sure your contacts are in MailChimp and MailChimp is hooked up to command. From what I've seen, this feature is not working quite yet to add a list from command directly that would have to pull from MailChimp. And we can, of course, help you set that up if needed. In the from field, we then have our sender and reply to email address. In the subject line here, let's say I want to put in wishing you a very happy Thanksgiving. And last but not least, we click Apply Design on the very bottom here. You'll see these email templates pop up. Again, these are all templates I created as there are no default templates in here quite yet, all right? But KW has said that those are to come. So I'll go ahead and select the email piece I would like. It will show me a preview of that. Okay, if I am happy with it, I can click Apply Design on the very top right. It will show me a preview of the email I'm sending. And when I'm ready, I can click send on the top right. Of course, I have the preview option as well to view that again. And you can see that on a tablet or a cell phone here, right? And I can save it as a draft as well. But once you click send, that will send out to all of your contacts within MailChimp. 
All right, guys, if you have any questions at all on this, feel free to let us know. I definitely know that was quite a few steps here. This is a workaround if you would like to use templates to email out. So if you do would like to do, if you would like to do that, these are the additional steps that you can take to send that out right away. All right, guys, let me know if you have any questions at all. Feel free to email support at scottlauriemarking.com. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Take care.